It's not enough. We're dead. We're so dead. She. Because oh! <laughs> you could just get the ridiculous CC chain like this and we can still die. Yep. Yep. Don't, don't, don't let him kill you. Don't. No. Oh. What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the free-to-play account. We need to decide what we are doing because, of course, we're up to about 11,000 gems. That's mainly because I grinded my booty off to get these 2,000 gems yesterday, and we have everything else done for the month. Now, the one really nice thing about this is this will reset. All these rewards will reset this week. I think, what, we have 100? Technically, when I'm recording this, this is like Saturday afternoon so 105 actually sorry 104 divide that by 24 hours that's 4.3 days so that means we're going to come up to what one two three four we're going to literally thursday i think these guys reset to give us more gems now of course we're not going to be able to do another fighters champion like the champion point so that's 2000 we're going to miss out on but we get 1500 at least from here uh, we don't get anything from Tavern. We don't really get anything from here unless we can save up and make a 10 star or a couple 10 stars on Thursday. That would be good. I don't know if we have enough food that at, for that, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's kind of all the bonus gems we're going to get this week. Plus, of course, anything we get from our dailies. We're not really doing any extra smashes or hits or anything. We'll get more from Aspen Dungeon here today. We just need to see if we can get to that 20,000. I really, really want to. I, I'm, I'm tempted to use some of them today. <sighs> I'm so tempted because we already did the Heroic Miracle portion. Of course, all this is most likely going to go to Magnifying Glasses as well. Man, because I, I really think the way we should play this is not go for the Magic Stone Sword. We should most likely go for the AMB because if we do get multiple and AMB is very very good on an Eloise where it's a magic stone sword not as much granted we would get a nine oh, there's so many decisions here because we could get a nine star and another five star hero chest and we kind of need more five star hero chests we got one wall deck here we have a nice resource chest if we can afford not using this and saving it for celestial island could be good we have but then again we have a six star like there's a ton of options that we have to weigh out this week of what we can do as far as our food supply goes though without using profit orbs it's looking a bit thin a bit a bit thin but there there's a give and take to this event right here guys if we do end up doing some profit orbs because of course we do have 106 we could do we could do like 80 of them um we could do a combination of this right here and with spending gems because we really, really, really want to get to the 400 because right there, if we get 400 and that we get 15 of those and then we just need to try to high roll. <laughs> it sounds stupid. I know guys, but then we can try to high roll an additional 15 off of like 20 to 30 of these gem perks it's gonna be really close and let's be honest if we are doing this optimally we should just sit here and wait i'm just impatient because i really want to get like some cores and stuff like that for this account granted the good majority like let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ish of the I like there's only a few that we want we want the first three and this one here of course it's a tough event. It's a tough event to decide what to do. I think this is going to be the path, though, to get the A and B. It's just going to be really, really difficult, and we're going to have to high roll here, and we're going to have to spend every last gem, but we're going to wait to the end of the week, I think, to actually do this because we're going to try to play this optimally. We'll get, we'll get point caps here. This should be done, so we should get to 200 very easy, but we need to get to 400 between profit orbs and gems. God, this is gonna be this is gonna be so sketchy. If for some reason we can't hit the magic number, we'll probably just grab both of these, like and maybe this too. Just depends on how many warrants we come away with. So there's a lot of things to decide here, and uh, we're just gonna have to wait. Waiting to the last day of the event is the smartest play for just about everybody out there. So. Let's check on you. How are you doing? We can get a couple more points invested. 
on her is getting closer very very closer we could definitely use some stellar shards but i don't want to buy any cores of transcendence right now because we want to hunt those warrants to try try to get our first pay to win artifact on this account because we're still sitting here with a whole lot of nothing okay so there's a couple things uh we're kind of still stuck on this wave here there's a couple options we could do as well and that could do it looks something like this where we put a couple of ignis in to hopefully hopefully give some cc reduction to our eloise the one downside is put her in this slot feels bad because we miss out on like one or two hits but it does help prevent her to be cc'd which is going to mean a lot less damage but the poison number is just going to keep racking up honestly maybe even drop the wall deck out Because, yeah, that's that's two basics that don't hit the Eloise. I almost feel like maybe... I, like, I wish I could take the time and make a six-star Ignis, but that is such an improper move at this point because we need the food, especially if we're going to hunt those 10 stars this week to build two 10 stars. That could be huge for us as well. Um, Yeah, maybe just taking you out and putting another Tix back in. More actives from Tixes, right? We'll just let the two Ignis hopefully feed forward. Got more ghosts out as well, which is good. She still got CC'd. Because <laughs> you guys got to remember, the five-star version of Ignis is very, very, very weak. I think it's, what, 20% control immunity? So even if they both give it, it's only 40. And again, I just I don't want to invest all that food into an Ignis that's just going to sit there forever. Yes, she could help us here and there but overall i just don't think it's worthwhile this one's look good especially if we can snipe this bottom one down here like with the active oh she still got twined oh i think we need to put like here's this the problem we want ignis to die immediately but the problem with that is then we don't have as many block counterattacks. that was kind of good but I think she's going to die. Yeah. I don't see us getting past this. We'll just smash it a couple times. See if somehow we get super lucky here. Oh, like I said, get a little lucky and it paid off. All right. We beat them. We beat them, boys. We beat them. Okay. So let's just kind of go back to our older setup here. Throw our regular heroes in. Maybe they can help us do some damage. I don't know. The Penny really isn't doing much of anything. Like, literally, these other heroes are feel very, very useless in comparison to our Eloise. Now, there are two Amon Ra's with healing curses and everything, so this could go very, very poorly for us. Uh, honestly, maybe we should just do the same strategy and throw in two Ignis or Igni into the, to the lineup here, and we can make some more progress. Oh, this is going to be so difficult because of that healing curse. Oh, we can't get rid of the healing curse either. Oh, it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. You just see your health continuing to go down. Granted, that was a nice big boost, but Aspens are coming up. Oh my god, they just completely wreck us. And the other thing is, every time an active is done, both the Amon Ra's are doing a ton of ping damage to us as well. So, made a little bit of progress. Um, after we beat that one, I think a lot of these waves are going to be kind of easy. I don't know, they're still, they're still really, really tough waves. And the other thing we need to do is we need to throw our heroes in for Aspen Dungeon. 11 Demon Potions? Why could we have not had the Powerful Penny at this point? Ah, so annoying. Nope. Oh my god, we almost spent a thousand gems. That would be very suboptimal. All right, we're gonna keep buying up here. Give me all your gold offers that you have. Not buying the purple. No purple goo. It's like so hard to not do that because you instinctively do it on your like accounts that you're spending on. You just always, always, always buy the purple goo, and you don't really ever buy the green goo. So it's the opposite. Looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay. All right. So, 
already a really bad wave to send our Eloise in with. So I think we'll go with the Penny. And I'm hoping Penny can do some of these waves too, still, even without her Void imprinting. But she's pretty weak, honestly, without those Void imprints. Look at this. We can barely do damage to a Vessa. That's a little on the scary side. I'm going to hope a wall deck can do something here. Okay, wall deck can take care of it. He does have the faction advantage. Penny is just so, so weak. So weak. When she doesn't have those void imprints. So, I think we can get a decent ways with the Eloise. Now, if we had like an upgraded Demon Bell, I would feel very, very confident on this. But, the f or not Demon Bell, an upgraded AMB, I'd feel very confident. But I think she's going to be very, very tanky here. She has a ton of healing. The only thing I'm worried about are Vesa waves and like maybe Amon Ra waves and Ada waves. Oberon, I don't know if it's going to be that much of a problem because I think, especially here with an active in round one, I feel like this is going to be strong still. Like the counterattacks are going to take almost all of them out round one, even if we do get CC'd. Now, 1v1 is kind of sketchy. Like, if we come across, like, the, the duo with Oberon, that's a little scary. This one's a little scary as well. But we are in the early stages. Should we should we try with the Demon Potion? I mean, we're not going to get 42. I know we're not going to get 42 like we did with the Penny. I feel like we might be early enough that she's not going to die. No, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to die here. We are most definitely going to die. Oh, she, oh, we got the Amon Ra before she got her shields up. <gasps> Never mind. She's so tanky. That was perfect. That was amazing. Oh, my God. We're going to die. All right. We're going to go with one Demon Potion here and hope for the best. We need to save them really for like rounds 30 plus where we need to use multiples against waves like this. We did kill one off before they got their basics. So that was pretty solid. Our active hopefully doesn't kill us. It almost did it almost killed us all right <laughs> that was sketchy 5000 101 with a horus which should not be that much of a problem uh double da's i don't think are a problem either and it might be a way to save up energy potentially just depends on how these counter attacks work out and the energy drains <clears throat> we might Oh, it did actually drain for once. That kind of sucks. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. That should be a W for us. Barely taking any damage. Bade could be interesting. Bade is always that wild card here. It's like he could just chunk us for our entire health bar. I don't know. Granted, once you're E5 and you have Unbending Will, it's less of a scary moment because he can't just one-shot you. All right, so the, these early waves, we've come across two kind of difficult waves. We did have to use two demon potions so far. Horus waves, I don't think are much of an issue here. We might even save up energy here too. Oh, so close. So, so close. I'm going to see if a wall that can take a solo Vesa. I don't know if that's something that is in his ballpark here. But he does have a ton of healing, so... <sighs> He's only E3. If he was E5, I think he would have a chance, honestly. But this one is going to go some sort of rounds, I think. <sighs> I don't know. We do have a stronger Eloise than since previously. I don't think we had a V2 Eloise. I think it was a V1 Eloise when we used to do this. But I still remember these fights used to go into the very long rounds. And I think our active is going to have to kill the Vesa in round 15 plus. I don't think we're going to get a kill before then. Then again, we used to run Resilience all the time. And now we run CC Removal Purify. So... Oh no, this is going to get really close, guys. We're going to need a huge active here. Oh, that's not enough, is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to get to another active. I don't know if we have enough layers of shield, do we? Oh, it's not enough. We're dead. We're so dead. She Oh. Oh my god, Vesa is such a sketchy fight for us guys. Like ridiculously sketchy. All right, come on. We do have CC purify, so I'm not as worried about this wave as I used to be. Oh god. Are we ever going to get out of CC? <laughs> Okay, it's still pretty sketchy, guys. It's still pretty sketchy. Let's heal back up to full against a corpse demon. Not quite. Close. Close. 
Solo Gru should not be a problem, right? Yeah, that's a heal wave if I've ever seen one. Double Horse, we've already beaten a few times. We take quite a bit of damage, but it's not bad. Now, this is another scary fight for Eloise. Not only for Penny, but Eloise. Double Sigmund is surprisingly one of these toughest waves for a lot of early game heroes. Did we need a Demon Potion? I guess not on the Eloise anymore. We still need a Demon Potion if we already have energy on the Penny, but this one looks like it's an easy solution now. That block does so much damage from the Horus. <laughs> well, we do get full energy out of it, which is nice to have. Uh, a Bade, kind of a, you, kind of a waste to use it, but we did farm it back up, which is nice. Ooh, this one is an interesting wave. We do have an active, luckily, though. And she should die from the counterattacks and the bleed. Not bleed, but the skill damage, essentially. Solo Aspen, huh? He does quite a bit of damage, but I don't think it's anywhere near enough to actually take her out. She almost got energy back. Uh, I do want to run energy against a quad Oberon wave. Probably don't need to do it, but it just makes me feel a little bit better. Because you could just get the ridiculous CC chain like this, and we could still die. Yep. Yep. Don't, don't, don't let him kill you. Don't. Nope. Oh. <laughs> My heart can't take this, guys. My heart can't take this. Holy cow. My heart is going. All right, so we're not going to use energy against the Aspens. I don't think we need to. You're going to have a lot of counterattacks round one, and then an active in round two should be fine. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Pretty easy right there. It's weird to see her basic attack actually kill something. Oh, no. So we should have our active before the vessel is active, which is very important for the way this works out. We get to use ours, then she uses hers. I like that order compared to last time where she uses her active, then we use our active. That could be huge for like a last round in 1718. So this is a 460 Vesta compared to the 450 we were struggling with previously. So this could go very badly since we are not running uh resilience like we used to we're taking a ton of damage here oh we've procced okay so we need probably like two actives to get through this we're gonna be able to soak up this active from her. i don't think we're killing the vessa i i don't i don't think we're gonna do it we have one more active here but nope vessa is too strong for the eloise death 25 man it feels so bad to not get there but i wasn't expecting that much with an eloise versus the penny very strong if only we could have like two v2 heroes then we could really actually hold on wait a minute wait a minute i need to look something up <laughs> i need to look something up real quick so what is v2 v2 is 726 um we probably can v2 two different heroes the problem is needing two extra 10 stars but two v2 heroes would probably make more progress than a v2 plus hero i never actually considered that on this account the issue is we're going to need two more 10 stars to make that happen and like i said it all comes down to if we need to use profit orbs this week to get both gems and food. We don't really have any puppets right now besides the six star in our bag. We get lucky. Oh, Garuda copy. I mean, these Garudas are just going to be sitting here for a while because she's going to be the next one we build most likely after the wall deck. Interesting, interesting. I think we might go for it. We will, of course, go back to buying this right here for a little bit. Try not to eat up too much of our gold, but also capping out our heroes when we can. It could be cool making two V2 heroes and then swapping all that food, the the like two of the V2s into a wall deck to E5 him. Again, it's just food's going to be the biggest issue. We're going to wait till the next week. We do have an okay amount of food, but I don't know if we can make one or even two 10 stars next week without going for the puppet here. Sorry, here. 
honestly i mean if we can't get a penguin artifact i say we just go for this right here the skin pack and the six star puppets and both of these and just save up profit orbs for another one if we can't hit it we can't but i think spending the gems either way is going to be a good idea so we'll save up to like twenty we we'll see what happens hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'm trying to do a little bit longer free to play episodes because it seems like that's something you guys like seeing Whew, what a roller coaster hopefully you guys enjoy this one though i'll see you guys next time